G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, I've been working on the house a lot lately, and uh, that's why I've been doing a lot of YouTube. And uh, cracking, patching up cracks in the walls mainly, so I've been filling in and sanding back the plaster with my little um, palm sander that I bought just to do the job. I've got a full a half sheet sander. But these are better because you can get into corners and they're a lot lighter and uh, they don't vibrate as much. Anyway, this was the cheapest one they had, under 30 bucks. And it's actually a subline of a Zito. The Zito one was about, I don't know, five or six bucks dearer. But this one actually got better reviews. And um, mainly because the, the hook and Velcro sort of had worked better on this than on the Azeo one and subsequently this has been sold out completely so it's a really really good unit anyway what I'm coming to you, okay you buy your sander and they're a bit like torches torches are cheap then you've got to buy the batteries and with the sander you know to buy the sanding pads I, uh, I bought the ones that they say which are sort of ventilated because it sucks the dust up through the pad and sticks it in the bag, supposedly. But it really does stuff all. The dust goes everywhere. And there's no reason why you, you couldn't just use plain ones on there without the holes, because I don't think it makes any difference. It was just still cool the motor by sucking in through here. Anyway, cut for the chase. I'll buy this no problem then I buy the the pads to go on it and uh, these are the ones you, I got these were I think they were Ryobi I'm not sure but anyway these were the ones that Bunnings had and they got the hook, hooky sort of soft stuff on the back with the hooks on here 70 cents each 70 cents each they were the cheapest I could buy and I thought, wow, that's you know, that's not cheap, you know. And then the, I mean, that was that was cheap compared to the others. The others were like a dollar fifty and all sort of racket. And anyway, I thought, you know, there must be cheaper stuff around than this. These are one twenty grit. Anyway, people have been talking about Timu. Everybody's talking about Timu, T E M U, and how cheap this stuff is. So I thought, I'll, I'll look on there. Look on Timu, and these. Well, basically the same thing as that. Instead of being 70 cents each, if you buy 50, they're 20 cents each. So I thought, Jesus, that's a hell of a bloody saving. So how good are they? You know, does the does the, the, the soft stuff and the fluffy stuff grip the hooks properly, you know? I mean, is the grit, good quality grit, you know, is it all aluminium oxide? So I thought, bugger it, I'll give it a go. So for the money, it couldn't go wrong. So 50-50 you know, of those at uh, 20 cents each was, you know, five, five bucks, whatever it was. The whole thing is, when you go on Timu site, the, the, the prices vary all the time. They've got this real psychological sort of uh, sales pitch where, you know, you look at something and then while you're looking at it, the price is going down and the numbers are going down and, well, the prices are steady and the numbers are going down and you know get in quick and get one or you're going to miss out sort of thing and it's really like panic stations <laughs> buying this stuff and then if you do miss out and you go back again there's another lot going to be coming up doing the same thing they could even be cheaper you don't know so that you know the pricing is it's pretty insidious the way they do it and uh, i read an article the other day where they reckon people are actually getting addicted to timu they get sucked in by the way this high pressure approach works I mean it's up to you whether you buy or not but this sort of you know get in quick or you're going to miss out approach is pretty really uh, uh, it's pretty interesting anyway I'm diverging so these are the originals these are the team the Timu ones 50 of them in there and I also got some identical ones in a pack of 10 which was twice the price, but I actually bought these first and then I saw the pack of 50 and I thought, wow. I mean, even at twice the price, it's still way, way, way cheaper than 
It was 35 cents, I think, versus 20, as against 70, you know? So and these are identical to those. I've had a look. So we'll have a close look at them and just see what they're like. Now, these ones are 120 grit, and these Timu ones are 100. This is from the pack of 10. The pack of uh, 50 were 120 grit, which is what I prefer, which is what I've got there. So, you know, dimension-wise, they're, they're 140 by 100. Oh, get on there. Anyway, they're, they're the same. They don't have the ventilation holes there. They have some holes here, but as I said, you don't need them anyway. And if you did want to put holes in, it would be a simple matter of just just send a punch a few in the back, you know. I mean, you can easily do it, but I'm not going to bother because, as I said, it, it breathes around the, the bottom here anyway, and the dust collection isn't worth a damn. So the next thing is, what's the grit like? Well, it's good, good quality grit. I mean, it's, you know, aluminium oxide or whatever, you know, the, the good stuff. And, um, you know, thickness-wise... There's no difference. They're basically the same thickness. So it's not like it's wimpy stuff. I'll measure them and see what it measures up at. So the Timu one is what? 0 0.83. This one. Ryobi. 0 0.78. <laughs> it's actually thinner than the bloody Timu one. So really, 7, 8, 8, 3. This stuff of difference there, it's not worth worrying about. And as far as I can see, they basically look as good as each other. So the next thing is, how good does it grip? Oh, we'll put the Ryobi one on. And on she goes. We'll put, pull it off and you can have a listen. Off she comes. We'll put on the Timu one. Have a listen. It actually grips better than the Ryobi one. How's that grab you? So I mean, I had to buy these. Team didn't give me these, and you know, I only review stuff like basically that they just send people send me or stuff that I buy that I think is good value. And in this case, well, I mean, not everything on Team is good value. From my opinion, looking at it, there's a lot of crap there, but there is some really good stuff there. I mean, it's all cheap anyway, so you've got to expect, you know, get your money's worth. But um, anyway, we'll give it a go, eh? Try it out. OK, these are both 120 grit, and we'll start off with the, uh, the genuine article, the Ryobi one. All the dust bags not worth a damn, the stuff goes everywhere. So they did a good job. So now we'll switch the pads over. on that. So you can see what I did it with both of them and that's where I did the rough side with the, uh, the Timu one. The big price difference must mean something. Okay they buy in bulk, they do it without fancy wrapping but is that the whole story? Well they both sanded equally as well but the Timu one I thought was starting to go off 
towards the end fairly quickly and I didn't use them very long. So if you feel the the grit on the Timu, here, here sort of unused, here it's quite shiny, as against the Ryobi, very gritty, very gritty, no slide. That's the difference. Superior grit, now these are both 120s. This one looks like I can slide my finger over it. There's a bit unused and it's moving it, but they're doing nothing here, even where I've used it. It's gripping. This is not gripping, this is doing fuck all. So basically you get what you pay for. These are way, way cheaper, they're a third of the price, but grit-wise there's no comparison. The genuine article just leaves it for dead. So there you go. Okay, I've got 50 of these I've got to use up. They'll do the job, they're okay, but they're not a patch on, on these. These are way, way, way better than these things. Okay, hope you got something out of it. We'll see you next time. Cheers.